So, this is what I got from the junk recycler today. They're from computer server UPS backup systems. Each one of them, like they were made to, well, they were configured to run at 48 volts, but I'm changing that over to 12. But each one is a 12 volt battery. And uh, they, um, each one of them, uh, can't lift it out, they're heavy little bastards. I'm going to put the, the information uh, on them, but when you read the information, it says that fully charged, one of these batteries will come up to 13.5 volts. Um, when I checked them all out, two of these were 52 volts and one was 53. When you do the math, um, 13.5 times 2 is 27 times 2 is uh, 54. So 54 volts would be a full charge on this system as far as I can figure it, even though it's a 48 volt system. And um, each battery in this one that I pulled apart, when I started looking at them individually, 13.05, they were all 13.05 except for one that was 13.04. So then I put a, then I put a, uh, like just a, a little 12 volt lamp on it. Keep in mind I have not charged these batteries yet. Um, and you can see they all seem pretty alright. And um, just wait. Just wait. Daddy be right with you, okay? And basically uh, what I'm wondering is is uh, what would be the best way to test them because they're not given amp hour ratings. They're giving discharge watts over time ratings they say you could take like when you look up the statistics on one battery it says you can you can pull 34 watts from this battery in 15 minutes to 100 percent discharge that's as hard as you can push it so how do you convert all that over to to amp hours and how do you do a load test on 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 a battery like this and and see whether or not it's good. Now I don't have any real history on these but there was so much equipment down there this time it's not like one, a person brought one of these in because they needed a new one. It was more like they overhauled all of their computer comp equipment at once. All of the con all of the server like the chargers for all these, the, the UPS towers that these slide into and the 19 inch rack mount logic that monitors this stuff all that crap was there I could have had it all actually but <clears throat> you know at 40 pounds a piece there's 120 pounds worth of batteries I looked at the price and I think they're about somewhere between 30 and 40 dollars each and there's 24 of them so you know I'm not having any real high hopes or anything but what would be really nice is if there's still enough life in these guys I could um, slide one in the boat and run the trolling motor on it and have one out in the sun charging up. So anyways, that's what, that, you know, I don't know whether it's garbage or a score. So I guess time will tell. But I'd like to learn a little bit more about how to actually test, you know, load test this thing and, and know that they were, you know, all right or crap or, and then go from there, you know, to see if I can, if, they're, if they need desulfating. I know that I got this sealed lead acid battery before and last time if it was like a 12 volt battery that was supposed to come up to charge say at 13.5 volts I was lucky to find one that was 12 volts or 9 volts or and I tried some real basic Bedini circuits and they didn't really seem to to, to help but these ones I don't know 13.05 volts each so tell me what you think if you got ideas on, on, on how to test them out, let me know. Thanks very much for watching.